maybe you can put it on silent mode. There's no silent mode. It's a dirt bike, lady. Come here. I don't want to come here. Have we gone? Too far. If everyone's labeled a Karen, do it. Report it. Do Karens really exist? If every altercation between two people of a different race is labeled as racism, so no, we're just videoing each other because he's a little. Sh does racism actually exist? I mean, of course it does, yes, but it does seem sometimes like it's a bit of a buzzword that shoehorned into situations to incite an emotional reaction or get clicks and views or make people pissed off because people that are angry uh, sells newspaper, you know, the whole spiel. But I want, I'm curious to your opinion on this. One of you guys sent me a video this week of a Karen. <laughs> What do you know, Karen? I didn't want to make a, a brain worms out of it. I wanted this to be quick because it's a little, it's almost unbearable to watch because this woman is, uh, well, did, you know what? You judge for yourself. Oh, God. No. It's you. It's you. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Now you are. Oh, my God. You're, oh, my God. Uh, uh, do you see this? Okay. So, first impressions. It would not be an internet Karen video without zero context leading up to the actual confrontation. In chef's kiss every single time. So we start out with this blonde white woman. And quite honestly, that's like two for two in the Karen criteria so far. Uh, seemingly like assaults. Oh God, no. This woman holding the phone. Acted out of emotions probably. We don't know why, but seems like she quickly realizes she done f***ed up and is about to have a breakdown. Oh my God, I'm not... I never thought nothing like this would happen to me. She just tried to run and hit me. And now she... Did you see her? Okay, so she just tried to run and hit me. She's freaking out, crying. No, I didn't. I just didn't want to be recorded. She probably, quite honestly, they're probably conditioned now. She knows it. She's like, mother... I'm blonde. I'm like in my 40s. White woman, if I get caught on camera doing some sh I am f***ed. So she like had an emotional response, went for the phone swat. Oh God, no. And now she's like, that, that's it. I'm done. I'm fired. I'm going to lose my house, my apartment, the whole nine. So she's f***ed. She's devastated. And it just, it escalates out of control. You saw her, right? They all saw her. Princess, no. Oh my God. Karen had a breakdown. She tried to hit me. Ask your workers. She tried to hit me. She tried to hit me. Now I want security for you. Oh my God. Oh my God. You should have thought about that before you did what you did. So she's a complete basket case. Let me give you a little backstory on the woman holding the phone here. So the video was recorded by a black Muslim Nigerian woman uh, that goes by this name. I'm not going to pronounce it because I will butcher it. Uh, and she, according to her, was assaulted and harassed by a white woman and nothing was done by security nor the police. She went on to film at length and posted multiple clips to her YouTube channel, I think TikTok, Twitter, and it went super viral. This Karen Goes Crazy part one clip has almost two and a half million views and she uploaded like five, six, seven clips. So I did a little digging because I wanted to see if I could get any context to what led up to this moment. In one of her follow-ups called Karen Goes Crazy part three, security acts oblivious, she says this. Everything. I I was over here looking at the, uh, you can ask the workers, I was over here looking at the um, the sale items. Right. So she came back and she put a, wait. She came back and she put an item back in front of me, so. Okay. After she put the item back in front of me, she begins skimming through the calls, like right in my face. I said, excuse me. Then she just completely went over to them, asked them to secure security, went off, she dropped on the floor, she screamed, she chased me. So allegedly her saying excuse me led to this Karen freaking out, asking security to have her removed. I don't know, I didn't see the Karen initial freak out, it just starts with her trying to swat her phone once she starts recording, which was obviously not the correct way to respond. Swatting someone's phone when they start recording, that's going to exacerbate it and make you look bad. Uh, but clearly this woman is not well. Y'all had to get security, she, she charged me. If I wanted to duck, she would, oh no, no. Oh no, you just wanted security for me, right? I want security for you now. No, don't cry. I just came to get my free panty. You know how you get the coupon in the mail. And I got to pick up my Converse boots from Nordstrom. I don't know why this is happening to me. I just came to get my free panties and I got this psycho Karen freaking out on me. Obviously, this woman felt slighted, and then the way this woman reacted was aggressive. Clearly, she, something's going on with her, but this goes on for a while. I mean, she's freaking out. She starts, I mean, I'm just going to fast forward a little bit. No, why don't she walk away from me? No, I was here. No, 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 no. We're not doing this. 
Why don't I walk away from her? Why don't she get away from me? She could get away. Go wherever you want to go. It's people like, uh, we're just trying to get the buy crazy. four, get one free, and you're bothering me right now. Keeps going. Uh, she uh, she takes a dive too. Here we go. Gets worse. Yeah. So this won't like. My initial assessment as a viewer that has no horse in this race, right, is that this woman, this white woman in Victoria's Secret, is mentally unwell. Apparently, the second half of this freakout video got this woman's TikTok removed, and it's not on YouTube anymore for some reason, but. It is part of a compilation on Viola Davis's Instagram account. If you don't know who Viola Davis is, she's a very popular actress, and she retweeted this whole ordeal with this caption to her five plus million followers. Our history dictates our behavior and mindset. Racism continues to evolve, but now we have video. There are countless stories of black men who were lynched in thriving black towns that were destroyed because of these types of false accusations from white women knowingly weaponizing their tears. And then a bunch of hashtags, and then a link to a GoFundMe, which we'll see in a second. This is where it picks up. You keep lying saying I'm threatening you, so I'm recording to protect myself. Doesn't it feel a little bit cruel at this point just to be like hammering this woman with your phone recording her going through some sort of psychotic break? I know that like I'm not excusing her actions for whatever she did that led up to this according to her. Obviously, uh, was a little bit aggressive uh, by the by the sale rack. But this to me does not scream terrible racist. It screams a woman who is going through a psychotic break right now. And maybe I'm crazy and you're gonna disagree with me because a lot of people online apparently disagree with me because they're classifying her essentially as a terrible racist using this theatrical performance to try and fool the public and get sympathy. Uh, and I just, that's, she would be one of the best actors uh, in the world, if that's the case, in my opinion. Thank you to the Academy. She continues to devolve. I mean, it gets worse. She does, she starts going after her again. You gotta look at this. There we go. Y'all better get this lady. I mean, you gotta. Good lord, dude. I gotta stop coming here. So that's the majority of the freak out. There is several more videos where she interacts with security. Well, I don't know exactly right now who you're referring to. Um, here we go. So this mall security guard shows up and he's like, I don't really know what's going on or what you're referring to. Is everything okay? Can I help you? And she's like, ah, here we go. She immediately hops on. This white woman's not going to get in trouble because she's white. And then the cops show up. Same thing. She's super combative with everyone she's talking to, filming the whole thing as people are trying to be helpful. It just, it turns into this humongous thing. And then the whole internet rallies around her. And again, like I wasn't there. I don't know what exactly transpired from what we're seeing here. It just seems like something that didn't need to turn like a mountain from a molehill. Like, where is the humanity left in the world, right? We've all gone through some shit the last year, toughest couple of years for many people living through this pandemic, losing jobs, all this shit. And it seems to me that this woman that was being filmed is probably more in need of some sort of therapy than diversity training. I'm not saying that, but if it was on, if the shoe was on the other foot, and I would have tried to attack her white ass, you would have me escorted out this mall. Ma'am. That's just how I feel. This woman, the, the, I, mind you, the manager wish, didn't told him. The manager told me he chased, huh? I wish you didn't feel that way. I do feel that, way. I do feel that way. I do feel that way. I was just almost attacked and assaulted, you and you telling me I can't, I can't three times, and he can't, he can't get out. You hear this? So the cops show up, and they're trying to figure out what the hell's going on, because it's probably a weird call to respond to, so they're interviewing people trying to get a story 
from the people that were involved and from witnesses. And she's just pissed off because they're not immediately booting her out of the mall, given the whole spiel about, oh, if, the, if I was, you know, if, if it was me that assaulted her, I get kicked out immediately. And just let these guys try and do their job and get on with your day. Like, what are you trying to get out of this? Do you want this woman to be like arrested and booked and sent to a maximum security prison? <laughs> Video, man. Can you email that? My what? The initial video that you took. Yeah, I sure can. Can, can, and can I have the, the email yes. and the case number, please, for yeah, today? Because I'm definitely going to go straight. Just because of your partner's smugness. What, what's up now? Yeah, the way your partner looked back at me like, oh. Like, I don't have time for that. So he's asking for the original video because they obviously haven't seen anything yet. So they can't make a decision just based off what they're saying. They need to do with you know, investigation before they can, but she's pissed that they're not taking immediate action, I guess. Anyway, she goes on to make more videos talking about the police report and how they're lying and all this shit. Then seemingly after this stuff went online and it went mega viral, I'm sure on multiple social media platforms, she ends up starting a GoFundMe uh, called Help Me Defend Myself Against Karen, GoFundMe, and she's raised $105,000 so far. She says she's looking to hire an excellent attorney who can help me bring light to this wrong. All videos and updates on the situation are on my YouTube channel. I was kicked off TikTok for posting what happened and let someone else post and get millions and millions of views. However, they deleted two of my accounts of my accounts. One that I have for my garden, which is my original, another one I created after I leave my main. I've been wronged by Abigail, Short Hills Mall Security, Melbourne Police, and most of all humanity. Please help me. I'm trying to tread carefully here, because I know anything that's racially sensitive is so difficult to talk about, especially like, oh, I'm a fucking white man, I'm not allowed to have an opinion on anything, right? This is just my reaction as a human, seeing other two humans get in this outrageous confrontation where one woman seemingly is unwell, and over what I guess was just a, a stupid little thing at a sales, a clothing sale rack, and then turn into like a phone swat, this huge breakdown, and then her perpetuating by filming the whole thing. Does what you saw on camera necessitate a hundred and five thousand dollar GoFundMe so she can right the wrong that was transgressed upon her by Abigail, uh, the Milburn Police Department, and most of all humanity? Does that not seem a little bit extreme? And don't get me wrong, I'm not trying to defend the Karen's actions. Uh, she should be held accountable for what she did. But does going scorched earth to try and take down everyone in your path that had to do with this incident seem like a reasonable response? It just seems a little bit outlandish to me, but what the f do I know? Uh, Candace Crowhurst here, who donated 50, says, Sue everyone! The mall, the security company, the officers of the police department, TikTok, Abigail, Victoria's Secret, and anyone else you and your attorney can think of. Sue them all, baby! Take them all down! Gonna need more than $105,000 for that. I'm so sorry. Your experience has sparked a necessary change about a new light to the horrifying systemic racism within the U.S. I'm sure you're way ahead of this, but you shouldn't have to pay in advance for an attorney represent you can do it in a contingency agreement, blah, blah, et cetera, et cetera. Take this Karen down. It is past time white Karens were held accountable and so proud of you for standing up for yourself and not allowing her to get away with treating you this way. I'm in the corner rooting for you. And there's comment after comment about how horrible this racist white Karen is and you can't believe she's okay. Thank God she's okay. And you can't believe she had to go through that. I think I said earlier in the video, like is this woman, is she inherently racist? Who knows? But from what I saw in this video, it just looks like a woman who is mentally unstable, had a psychotic break, uh, and needs to get some help. And I'm not excusing the way she treated this woman, and I'm not sure if you wanna talk about the way that the police handled it or whatever. Do you, you know, if the tables were turned, would she have been arrested and kicked out? No, no one can say for sure, because the tables weren't turned. But man, this Karen is just getting out of control. This one wasn't like fun to react to for me. I just watched this and my heart hurts, because I, I do have empathy for humans, the woman who was victimized here and the woman that she recorded who clearly is unwell. I just feel like this whole thing could have been avoided had there been a little bit more humanity and empathy in everybody instead of just this immediate propensity to bring out a phone and try to turn everything into some sort of social media viral sensation in order to, you know, raise hundreds of thousands of dollars to sue somebody or whatever. I don't know. The future feels bleak sometimes, doesn't it? And I'm gonna pull a Philip DeFranco and pass this one off to you. What do you think about this video? Do you think that crazy Karen was a, a wild racist putting on theatrics? Or do you think maybe she needed some help? Uh, and how do you feel about the way it was handled? Yeah, that's pretty much it. I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Yeah. Peace.